Hey everyone, Mike Emil here. For years, the Teton Crest Trail has been a dream hike. This year, I answered the call, joined with five amazing friends. Let's see if I can do justice to the experience. Wow, what an amazing day. Starting off at the Teton Village, we caught the tram up to Rendezvous Mountain. Because if there's an option to avoid 4,000 feet of climbing, the mule will take it. From there, we made our way up to Marion Lake, putting our first day total at just under seven miles with about 1,200 feet of elevation gain. I knew the Tetons would be stunning, but nothing could have prepared me for its sheer vastness. This trail truly has it all. We kicked things off with world-class waffles. Well because every great hike should begin with sugary carbs. Then we are treated to a display of wildflowers straight out of a Bob Ross painting. As for the high altitude trails, they really made sure we appreciated every breath. And the views kept one-upping themselves at every turn. It's as if the Tetons were saying, oh, you think that's stunning? Just wait. We figured today would be the easy day but with this elevation, our legs and lungs were left second-guessing everything. And tomorrow, it's even longer. Let's just hope we can keep it together. Day two in the books, and it was another fantastic one. We kicked things off at Marion Lake and ended the day at Sunset Lake, deep in the Alaska Basin. In total, we knocked out 9.7 miles with a casual 1,700 feet of elevation gain. Just enough to leave us gasping, grumbling, and oddly pleased with ourselves for surviving. The day started out hiking up Fox Creek Pass. And honestly, with the cool overcast skies and fresh legs, it felt like a breeze. We cruised up through Jedediah Smith Wilderness with wildflowers to spare. And then Death Canyon Shelf hit us with those jaw-dropping views. It was the kind of scenery that makes you forget you feel hurt. Well, at least for a while. 
Next, we slip back into the wilderness in the Alaska Basin, winding past more jaw-dropping views before finally dragging ourselves to Sunset Lake, where we kicked back, relaxed, and shared our best stories for the day. Some even approached legendary status. Well, at least after a few drinks, mine did. Tomorrow's day three, and it's gonna be a big one. The highest point on the trip and the longest haul. Fingers crossed we get some solid sleep and the weather gods are feeling generous because we're gonna need it. Good morning. Holy cow, that was incredible. Our last day was a big one. Starting at Sunset Lake, we made our way all the way down to Jenny Lake, catching a ferry ride back. In total, we hiked 12.23 miles for the day with an elevation gain of 968 feet. And for the entire trip, we crushed 29 miles with just under 4,000 feet of elevation gain. Not too shabby, right? We kicked off day three with a climb up Hurricane Pass. And wow, the views back towards Sunset Lake were unreal. At the high point of the trail, we had a stunning view of the Tetons, though a pesky cloud decided to hang out just to keep things interesting. But even with a few clouds, looking down the valley below made the effort 100% worth it. We made our way past Gurum Glacier, which was gorgeous and almost made me forget how tired my legs were. Well, almost. The descent through Cascade Canyon was something else. Lush greenery, dramatic cliffs, and waterfalls around every turn. We wrapped the trip up with a stop by Hidden Falls before catching a ferry ride across Jenny Lake, which had big crowds and was a bit shocking after being secluded for three days. I'll say it again, this trail was incredible. And what made it even better, I got to experience with family and friends. Awesome. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, happy hiking.